Hello, hello, and welcome to Ascended Stars, Glass Heart Divination. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ali Jade, and I'm so happy to be here with uh, your January 2016 Abundance uh, reading. And this is for Aries. So um, there is a lot of... Uh, manifestation energy in this year of one and um, so I did I've created this new spread um, this is my first reading for the year uh, 2017 and I want you know in order to have um, abundance we need to have our finances and our work in order and be in that place where we can give um, so I created this spread because it's you know the the economy right now in many countries and uh stuff like that is is uh you know it's like a ricochet effect it, it's it's all over across you know people are, are worried so i just thought this would be a good way to kind of um you know start abundance and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you some stuff here i'm gonna share first off i'm gonna share my own mantra with you um and then uh you know, then I'm gonna go ahead and and, and pick, um, pick your cards. Actually, I'm gonna pick your cards first. Um, let me pick your cards first. It's very uh, quick, simple spread that I've created. Basically, I'm gonna pull four cards from the Rider Waite deck. Um, I don't remember that recall the name of this one, but this is. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm blanking out on this one too. <laughs> Mercury retrograde's gone direct on the 8th. I'm filming this on the 9th, so it's barely still kicking in, but all all planets are full throttle ahead. Um, but we're still in the Mercury shadows up until um, the 27th. And then until about February 6th, everything is go, go, go. But then we're gonna hit an eclipse on the, um, on the, on the 10th of um, February in Leo which is about manifestation, but eclipses do we clip things out. Uh, this is, what is this called? Um, God, I said it with the other one and I can't remember. I'll remember, I'll remember, but um, I'll try to put the description down below. It's only one, one deck. Um, okay, so this is kind of the overall energies for the month of January, 2017. And uh, I'm picking this for abundance, finances, and work for my Aries. Abundance, finances, and work for my Aries. So that's there. And then I'm just going to get four from this deck. We'll shuffle it. Shovel? Shuffle. <laughs> and um, each card is going to represent something that we need to know to help create abundance in our finances, employment, and work. Now, please do check your ascendant, your moon, or your sun, you know, do all three so that um, you get a full reading. Uh, if you know what, what they are, that'd be really helpful. Okay, so this is the current job, um, right now, the current job energies, the work energies, and then this one is your obstacle, okay? What is likely to be an obstacle in creating this abundance? Oh, that one's jumping out. And this is your support, okay? Um, what are the advantages, helpful and supportive energies for Aries? And this is what action is advised to take, okay? Very simple, simple. So, um, before we start, I'm going to share my mantra with you. Um, it's important to get up in the morning and really visualize yourself being successful. And there's something here that I like that I, I do for myself, which helped me. And it's um, give yourself permission to have happiness. You know, give yourself permission to be abundant. So um, I give myself permission for happiness and abundance and wealth. And my mantra is as such, 
I'm so happy and grateful that money comes to me through multiple sources, ways, and means, which allows me to be a happy, authentic, allows me to be my happy, authentic self. I am a wise, successful person capable of supporting myself. I am loved and guided from angelic spiritual realms above. The universe provides me with much assistance of the divine dimensions, unseen but still true. All I need to do is trust in my God, his righteous and loving ways, and I will experience and embody joy and love everywhere I go. It's about the journey. You have borrowed time. This body is borrowed. Your loved ones are a gift. Your friendships are sacred. Your journey and purpose is to learn and grow. Never forget that. And your journey and purpose is to learn what love is to you. What is sacred to you? What matters most to you? Be grateful, be humble, and be present. That's all we can do. And um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and see what we have for Aries. Now, the energies currently, the work energies are is Page of Cups. Page of Cups, okay? Um, the Page of Cups is a tender, um, innocent, and playful energy. Okay, um, it represents a young energy. So it's being being lighthearted is what I would say. Being lighthearted and um, you know like the child like the children how they play. So um, you know not taking yourself too seriously. Also offering you know those compliments and those sweet nice uh, words. Um, to people can really uplift people and uplift your whole energy in your workplace so um, you know it just comes down to being kind this person is a kind person and um, they have they don't know they don't know the cruelty of some of the things that happen in life they're still innocent of that type of um, energy and this might be your motivation, Aries. This really might be your motivation for your work, um, why you want to push yourself so hard, okay? Uh, so that's the current work energies. Now we have the obstacle. Wow, the emperor. This is your, you're coming out in your own um, reading here because the emperor is, is ruled by you. So there's somebody here, um, this is working for, um, a business tycoon that might be oppressing you and might be oppressive um, an obstacle could also be that you're not strategizing enough I mean if you're coming up in your own reading this is an obstacle this is this this you know you guys ruled ahead and it really means you put you know um, making a plan and strategizing how you're going to go about the next um, the next year how, what you need to make a 12 month plan seriously I really hear that now and um, get down to business okay because uh, this man takes takes it serious he he rules an empire an empire and he doesn't do it with an iron fist he does it um, with his you know strategic abilities being able to assess situations as they come up um and dealing with them not pushing them aside he's very passionate he has that red so maybe something's gone wrong with you guys where you don't feel that passion anymore and you need to get back to that like what is your passion maybe you've been doing something without passion for quite some time and uh you're okay with it but you're off track okay because this is the year that jupiter is in Libra and you've got to follow your passions so if you don't do that you know you're not going to be in your in in your zone um, and that could be an obstacle for you in the future your support beautiful your support the two of cups so you're really looking for your partner for support for your significant other for support um, 
you know, this is this is uh, helpful energy, advantageous energy. Um, somebody might um, maybe through your partner, there might be something in their uh, business that they can offer to you um, and say, hey, there's a job opening at my work. You know, maybe you guys might have to work together, but um, or or collaborating with with your partner in some way, shape, or form, perhaps for a creative project, uh, perhaps writing together, perhaps um, anything, anything like that in the creative arts, because Libra has to do with that. But um, this is your support right now, okay? This, but if you're not in a relationship, it's okay. It's your kindred, you know, it's people that you're, you have your tribe with that you trust, the most trusted um, at the round table. And if you're not getting the support from your significant other, it's time to really take a look at that, okay? Um, it's time to really assess why are you in this partnership if they're not supporting you 100%. If they're not Team Aries, what the hell are you doing with them? <laughs> So um, that's another message, okay? And um, the action that's needed, the Knight of Cups. Wow, you guys have three water cards. But there is a lot of fire energy in, your, uh, in this year. We are in a fire rooster year, and we just passed a fire monkey year. But there's a lot of stuff going on with the Pisces energy and the Aries energy um, with fire. Leo, basically, but because um, the North Node is going to go into Leo, I believe. So what action is needed um, is advised to take in order to propel your abundance, finances and work. Um, and what I what I get you know, typically this is the night coming and offering you know, sweet nothings and saying, hey, you want to hang out? You want to go out? You look so pretty. You're so sweet. Um, I call them the sweet nothings in a romantic sense because they're the night. They're not quite mature um, as of yet. And so I, what I get is be more sensitive, you know, and it, and it goes with this here. So I also get like be very, you might be very intuitively uh, inclined this month um, you know uh, you're gonna be sensitive this month and um, interesting because he's got red fish on he's got red fish on his armor as well so to me that describes passion and emotion um, so maybe you're emotionally propelled to move in the direction of the passion that you want to pursue, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, I get take care of you. I, you know, I really, it's weird. I see the, I see the horse and it's like a show horse, you know, it's like, uh, it reminds me of a show horse and those horses are really well taken care of I mean if you ever been to a show horse um, to see them their hair is done they are just gorgeous they're, they're prepped before they go out there so I get take care of you be nurturing to you um, think of yourself first and I hear here be selfish be selfish because you're in this emotional realm, in this Piscean type of energy, and you might put others first besides you. And you're going to be real sensitive because they may not reciprocate. So um, in regards, let's go back to the action. So the action is to let people know that you care about them, the people that, that are in your life. Let them know that you care about them, that you love them, especially your elderly. Um... I also feel that animals might be something that you really need to um, connect with. They have a, a special understanding when you're feeling down or um, something like that because you're going to be emotional. So um, 
yeah that's what I get for Aries hopefully that's been helpful for you and let me turn this around and read you the energies card simplicity keep it simple kiss simplicity um, yeah don't overdo it the obstacle could be too that you're over pushing yourself and overdoing it and not um, delegating important information important um, things that need to be done to others you're, you're, you're tackling everything yourself that might cause you to get sick um, so keep it simple okay here's and it's um, a lot of the pink too it's interesting the pink is representative of of love and and you know what I say about my cups um, the Queen of Cups I say she's unconditional love so um, yeah this is this is the reading I have for you guys I hope you like it I hope it's been helpful and um, so I will see you guys soon and bring you some more readings and thank you for watching um, thank you for sharing subscribing commenting um, you know your continued support is what keeps me going and able to offer you these free videos uh, snippets of what the month may carry the energies and also to my um, people who order and you know by ordering readings um, I can keep this up you know uh, I do have a donate all my stuff um, information if you want to contact me is uh, down below in the description box just click on show more and you can connect on my, my new website but I have a special right now just so you can get a tarot taster um, 1111 okay ask me one question and I'll do a uh, Celtic cross on that so thank you kindly I wish you the best um, stay positive oh I've been telling everybody this important 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 okay I'm gonna give you homework <laughs> um, there's this movie I saw called the Prince of uh, Caspian um, the Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian it was done in 2008 which equals a one year and um, there's a great scene in the in the end towards the end where they all have to go battle in a ship and they go into this island area where it's uh, foggy, foggy, no, it's foggy. And the fog starts creating faces um, based on the thoughts that the, the passengers are manifesting, whether they're inner child thoughts or adult thoughts, it, it um, gravitates towards their fears. So manifestation is happening at lightning speed right now, lightning speed time. So your thoughts are carrying you to where you're gonna be going next. So be sure to clean out the closets of your thoughts. Stay on a high vibration so you can manifest the best things in your life. All right. And I want you to see this movie because it's, it's just such a great representation of how when you think something, then it happens. Thank you kindly for watching and um, hanging out. I wish you the best again. And I look forward to kind of coming back with some more videos. All the best in 2017. Bye-bye.